This is the Belfry Faber Mark I, kind of a custom uh, unit I created, based off of the uh, electronics from Gen 3 uh, MakerBot. I added on a uh, heated build platform my own si design, uh, mostly because it uh, MakerBot did not have a uh, heated build platform that was nearly big enough for uh, the build area on this unit. Uh, this unit has a build area of roughly 165 by 175 by 165. So it's a pretty big build area, about like five times as large as the uh, standard cupcake CNC. And uh, I also added uh, LCD and uh, keypad control to it, so you can see here. And uh, you can control the temperatures. Uh, monitor them, see what the, they're uh, doing. Get that to focus there. Yeah, better. So you can see it's currently 188 centigrade and going to 220. And it has a heated build platform that it's uh, measuring the temperature on at 97 right now. It tells you the X, Y, and Z positions. And uh, uh, since you can uh, use the keypad to uh, control the motion of it. Uh, you can set how far it's going to move each time you press one of those keys there. You can turn the extruder on and off and uh, tell it to uh, start builds from the uh, SD card that's uh, hidden right there. So let's back out here and get a bit bigger overall view again. Uh, I'm using a Acme threaded rod for the uh, Z platform control. So it's a single-sided thing, and it's controlled directly by the stepper right there. It has uh, brass bushings in the uh, rods there for the vertical. So it shouldn't have much uh, wobble there. Uh, I added on my own little uh, spindle up top to uh, directly feed in the uh, filament. I'm using right now a Mark V uh, extruder from MakerBot in it. So, like I said, most of the electronics are actually fairly stock Gen 3 electronics. Uh, I did replace the XY steppers with uh, stepper motors from, or stepper drivers from uh, Maker Gear that uh, lets me do uh, 1 16th inch steppings, so I'm right now using just 1 8th. It made for a quieter uh, motion. Anyway. I've uh, got most of the electronics nicely hidden in there in uh, various places underneath. And there are uh, three end stops on it so that it can do auto homing now. So let me start that up. That little stick there on right there is the uh, z-axis end stop marker. So it knows its position. And I've actually added it to my uh, G-code start file to uh, actually have it uh, do a uh, homing right before it does a build of uh, any sort anyway. So let me start a build now that we're uh, up to temperature here. So you just press menu and one to build a file and I go through and I select file and press enter and it starts building it warms up the, make sure the uh, heater is uh, warmed up first starts extruding a little bit so that the extruder head is uh, primed And then it starts its build. I have some capped on uh, tape uh, strap uh, attached to the uh, build surface there so it sticks pretty well. I'm running my build surface at about 110 centigrade. As you can see it tells you uh, what file you're building and uh, what percentage through the file you are and how long it is in seconds it's been playing. It's got little indicators to show you when it's extruding and when it's playing the file and that sort of thing. 
also put some lights in uh, under the surface here so that it uh, shines down on the build platform so you can see pretty well. Anyway, that's the uh, Belfry Faber Mark I.